What the hell? That's all the potions you're getting, Donkey! Now scram and leave me in peace! Just start the bonus episode already! Okay, Jesus! Alright. Hey guys, I've managed to show up just now. Welcome everybody to the bonus episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64 with the MJ4106. And, well, I got some sleepy feet. I actually do. That's beside the point. So, what bonus material do I have to go over? Well, I'll just briefly go over this a little bit. I don't have another controller yet, so I can't actually show this off, but there is a multiplayer mode, which is basically, you can actually play the full out freaking, like, you have stages you could be in where you basically go around and fight each other as the Kongs. You could be DK, Diddy, Blanky, a whole bunch of different colored versions, Tiny, Chunky, it's pretty rad. You get to have the guns, the bombs, the attacks. You don't get other special moves, but, you know, just a basic set. So, you know, battles the Kongs. Pretty fun, right? If you've seen the way they play it in single player, well, you kind of know how they work. I don't really need to show it off, but, uh, well, you have a game, you have a survival mode, a coin horde mode, which is basically go around and collect coins. I think you can kill people for them, too. You can also set the wins or do a time match. You can do wins as well as a time match as well as capture, which I guess is capture the flag. Capture pad, which I think you have to be on a pad the longest where you have to get all the pads at one time. I actually don't legitimately know. But I don't really care enough to go over. Or you can just do battle arena, which is just a simple, uh... Well... It's another one of these. All you have to do is just... Well, the original stages... You have three different versions, where you have one that's a whole bunch of tunnels. Although well, there's a water part at the bottom. One that's just a series of caves. With a whole bunch of open caverns and scaffoldings. And one that's just a big round area with water around the outside and places to run around the top. Well... Plenty of stuff to do, and this is just the round flat arena that you got to do with the battles for the uh, crowns. Oh shit. Well, I still have other stuff to go over. So, what's this mystery stuff you may be wondering? Check it out. Based on the number of fairies you collected in the game, you can unlock other bonus stuff. For example, if you collect two banana fairies through the camera, you get a whole the DK theater, which could basically go over all the cutscenes of the game. Which, for some reason, the intro story has the audio located differently because they like have the freaking squawk sequence go differently. But whatever. They have they have the rap, the intro to the game, the intro to all the main levels. Okay, rule pressing the button. Yeah, that's right. When you hit the crown door, press the button. The takeoff where you free clumsy and the game over one you can watch as well again if you need to the end sequence is basically the credits however they only show the first portion so you don't get to see the uh you know the bonus stuff if you get six you get dk bonus which can, you can play the arcade games of dk arcade the original version of that so you can have three lives in that jetpack which you can just do that without the rare coin thing. It's the actual legit versions of that. However, what are these other two? Rambi Arena and Guard Arena. Let me show you. Check this out. There's a thing of score here. Let's go into it. So what do we have to do for this? It's a bonus minigame that's freaking fun as hell. In fact, that's where the gold beavers are. Hit the moving targets to increase your score. So check it out. You have to hit a whole bunch of beavers to try to get a score. The more you hit in a row, the more of a combo you can rack up for more points. If you get them while you jump, well, yeah, you're good there. You have to try to get a whole bunch of it once. So it's a little hard to get a really good score, but if you get really good at this, you can get in like the 200s. I used to have a really good score, but well, yeah, as you can see, I'm not that good as, as good at it anymore. Still, it's a nice, fun diversion. 
It's fun to compete in this with your friends. As, as for me, I did it with my brothers. So as you can tell, I'm not even trying to get my 170 score that I got before. Oh, man. I used to be able to run over like four or five at a time, and it was freaking glorious. But no, I'm not as good at organizing them anymore. At the end of your timer, your score is what you get. So I'll just enter this just to immortalize it, I guess. If that means anything important. Oh, no numbers. Fine, I'm entering a period. Screw you. As for on Guard Arena, this one's a little easier. Well, it can be. As for this bonus run, this one's more of a uh, acrobatic dolphin-like thing. If that wasn't obvious. This is a good place to practice this. Swim through the stars to increase your score. So, well, how does this work? Simple. Swim through the stars. The faster you go and the ones you hit will determine how many points you get. As for me, I'm going through the course backwards. You have some up above. The ones underwater are worth five. The ones high in the air are worth 20. Oh, wow, I cannot control myself for my life right now. And, well, you just have to swim through all these in a quick sequence for the time limit in order to build your score. Man, I'm playing like shit. And again, I've been sucking at controlling the goddamn on guard since I started this LP, so... It, all, it only makes sense. See, my high scores were for when I used to know what I was doing in this game. But it's been so long since I played that I keep playing like garbage. Actually, I almost matched my score. I was like four seconds away from matching my score there. Damn it. But that's how that works. So yeah, if you want to have fun with the animals, there you go. Oh, that on guard one wasn't as exciting as I remembered it being. I'll leave my name there for posterity. And that's all there is to that. I guess I can go over these ones too, just for the heck of it. I'm not gonna go all the way through this, but see? You have three lives. And the way the arcade version works, well... You know how there was the level two thing, where I had to get the Nintendo coin? Normally, when you beat Donkey Kong the first time, you just go on to level two with the lives you have, and the score you have, so you can add it up. That's how I was able to get that high score of 43,000. Again, that was also when I used to be better at this. I say, though, the NES version of this is extremely glitchy! Oh, boy. Well, that was bad. I think it's time for me to leave this. Can I leave? Am I able to leave this? Delete the high score? Oh, wow, that would be a dick move. <laughs> Why would I delete my own high score? That would be mean. And then Jetpack, you can do the same thing. You can get your high score here. Here, I believe you can actually, like... Hmm. I thought there was a way to, like, check the... Oh, no. I guess the high score is just there. So, yeah, you have your five lives, and then you just have to do the jetpack game. It That one's literally just the same as it was, so... There's nothing different to get out of that. You can delete the high score for that, too, which... Why would you, you dick? So, yeah. You get to play those arcade games. Once you unlock them, of course. And I believe these you just have to unlock by, uh finding the animals. At 10, you can refight all the seven main bosses. Yeah, not K. Rule because, well, the file saves automatically right before the K. Rule fight. So you can do that as many times as you want. But all the other bosses you can fight in your own will. Pretty nice for people that like to have those fights over and over again. And they give you the stuff you had at the time so you can't, like, fight the first boss with three melons and all that crap. They give you everything you can get at the time. And you have to be the character that was meant for the fight, obviously. At 15, Banana Fairies, you get cr Battle, Battle Crusher, on or off. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Or at least I'll explain it. And for getting all the Banana Fairies, cheats! If you need just a little bit of a push to get all the stuff you need, or you need to buy things, or you just want to make the game super fast for yourself, you can activate a whole bunch of cheats. What are these exactly? Well, as you can guess, this is infinite coins. This is infinite regular ammo. No, this is infinite homing ammo. 
However, that will not actually activate until you get the ability to have homing ammo on you. That can be annoying, though, like I've explained. Infinite oranges. Infinite film, which I don't know why you would mean unless you suck at taking pictures of fairies, which how did you get 20 anyway? Crystal coconuts, which I imagine could actually be pretty useful. Instruments, if you just want to spam the shit out of them, sure. Or all. I think all might include some other things. But yeah. If you just want to go through the game and dick around with all this other crap on, there you go. There's that. But yeah. Okay, so I turn on Crush on for battle. What does that do exactly? Well, if I went to the arena, you still have the five Kongs, and Crusha. It's another enemy that was from the Donkey Kong Country series. Not an enemy you can fight in the game, however, he's a multiplayer character. He plays kind of similarly to Chunky in this. He has a... He has a, uh... Rocket launcher like Chunky, except it fires, uh, exploding oranges. So yeah, they're pretty lethal. He can still throw bombs like the others. He has a lot of, like, special... He has a lot of close-range attacks. Like I said, he plays a lot like Chunky. It's different, though. He's a little slower, I would say. Still, it's a pretty nice cameo. And it's just nice to have an additional character that's unique to the, uh, main story. Oh man, am I done going over everything already? There's gotta be something else I can go over. Oh, uh, let's go over the sound! Uh. Oh man, mono would be boring. I can't even do surround, so that won't even work. Oh jeez. There's vol volume, uh, uh, uh. Reset it to no. Damn it! Uh, uh, adventure! What's here? Um, let's see. Well, just to show you proof, there you go. Get the 201st banana, you will hit 101%. That's how you'll know you have everything. And that's what you need for the secret ending of the audition thing. This is just another file I had. Wow, I was only a half hour longer. Actually, I was roughly an hour longer. Then again, I kind of got a little lost at times, and I dicked around, so... That makes sense I was an hour longer than in this one. I think the quickest I've ever beaten this game has been like 11 and a half hours. And that's getting 100% by the way. Which also, they also continue to add the time every time you fight K. Rule. So, this is also not indicative of... It's also not fully indicative of that fact. But whatever. I can race these if I really wanted to, which uh... You know what? Just for the hell of it. Uh... I don't know, should I? Uh, uh, it's on, yes. Oh god, you fool! Don't worry, as long as you ever got all the stuff once for mystery, it'll all stick. So, don't worry about it. Hmm, what else is there? Well, let's go over some things I mentioned. Let's see. We can watch all these intros again if we really wanted to. But why would we? However, I will show you how the audio is different, just because I've got nothing else to show. Yeah, there's not a lot of bonus material in this game, but... There's enough... ...to at least constitute a video of it. So, getting the Banana Fairies unlocks a lot of extra content, so... There you go. If you want to cheat around, have more fun in multiplayer, or... ...whatever. Just play the whole game, unlock everything, there you go. It'll also get rid of stuff like coin collecting. Huh? How good would that be to not have collect coins throughout the game? Oh, really? You only need to collect coins until you're able to unveil the dirt patches. Then you're good for life. You really are. See, the audio's not different yet. It's still the same as it was. The beautiful DK Isle. Ah, how graceful. And there's two of these seals. Where did the second one go? See, look. That's extended. They cut that off in the main version of that video. I don't know why. But when you replay it, it does it differently. Also, I may as well mention this. You guys may not have noticed, or you may have noticed. But recording the very beginning of the uh, first episode was a pain in the ass. Like, my capture equipment keeps, like... Funking out. See, now the audio is going a little bit ahead of all the scenes. So it's a little weird. It's starting to get easy to tell. 
See, there you go. Now it's really easy to tell. But whatever. Um, my capture equipment like was really funky about it because, well, my TV kind of pointed it out to me. The resolution coming out of the console was a little different for the uh, transitions. Like, it started with the Nintendo logo of DK going okay. Then it had the N64 logo hopping to the monkey music. When it did, when it went to that. The resolution changed from being like it changed from being 320 by 240 to 640 by 480. So it did the expansion pack jump just to give you the extra visual thing. Then once it went back to the DK wrap, it went back to 320 by 240. So when that happened, well, each time those transitions happened, the Capture equipment is like, wait, wait, the thing changed. Hang on, hang on, I gotta readjust. So I got really fucked. Every once in a while, I had to keep recording that beginning because that jump from the Nintendo logo to the bouncing N64 logo took me so many tries to freaking get right, and I really wanted to nail it. The DK rap, though, that transition rarely ever worked. You're wondering how I managed to finally get it? Well, I just went to the freaking movie thing and just pulled it out of there. So yeah, that's how I did it. Just so I'd point that out. Hmm. You know, even the music in a different place, in a way, it kind of syncs up to that a little bit. But not really anything else. Gods. You can see why they did it the way they did, though, for the actual story mode. Now see, look, this gets rid of, the, rid of the comedic effect of the music. Oh, okay, maybe it's still there a little bit. <laughs> it sounds a little goofy. It's like, there he is! Oh, ow! God damn it! Man, I need to get better at my voice acting. I can't get my voice to sound evil like that. Eh, well, I try and I have fun. Not like I'm a professional voice actor. I'm a computer engineer, so voice acting isn't exactly in my priority list. I try at least. At least a little bit. Damn you, you damn Sergeant Pig Grunt Gator. Pig Gator? Oh god. What kind of freaky camera is that, by the way? He can keep an eye on the Kongs wherever he gets like a barrel view somehow. Wherever they are. Hmm. Well, what's next to that jukebox, by the way? That's so weird. Yeah, you work out. Ah! Oh, god damn it! I wasn't ready for that! They're gone! They're all gone! Ah! This is bullshit! What do you mean they're gone? Get the hell out of here! I'm trying to work out, you know. And you can actually move around a little bit after that if you go do it from here. So, yeah. I go over all these again if I wanted to, but, you know. I don't know if I'm really going to do that. Hmm. You know what? I'll end it on one thing. Some people may find this a little obnoxious, but I, for some reason, want to do this. I gave you guys the wrap without commentary in the first episode, so if you didn't see that, go ahead. Very first episode, the, the DK wrap is uninterrupted by me. Because you can't interrupt it. However, this time, I'm going to evaluate it, just because I can. So, what the hell is this? This genius piece of music. The DK rap. Just, no, I bet nobody saw this coming. It's like, alright, oh, Donkey Kong game. I can't wait to see what we're going to be doing these guys in 3D. What the fuck is this? This rap has been both loved and hated. Mostly, the critics seem to hate it because they find the song to be so stupid. But people from my generation love this song. They love it. Also, I guess this is accurate for DK. They got his aspects right. Also, what the... Seriously, what the heck... Was this, like, a music video they decided to come up with while they were auditioning? 
And also, what the fuck is this? I don't even know. Also, can't run on that tree like that. Can't jump off like that. Those trees are unclimbable unless you're giant chunky. Don't lie to the people. Like, I remember when this game came out, everybody in my elementary school, yes, elementary school, I said, was freaking... They loved the DK rap. They really did. And you can't do this with the face! I wish you could do that with the face! That'd be great! Oh man. That would have been such a good time. Just to do like a Mario 64 thing to his face. And that doesn't happen. He just goes down. He doesn't go all the way over the place. At least get it right. In fact, in elementary school, some of my friends even did the first couple verses for the talent show in elementary school. So yeah, it was pretty big. Hey, he didn't have a pad under him. That's a bullshit. Hey, he didn't come out with a barrel at that, and it doesn't need a charge. It just goes off. That's a bullshit. The rest of it I'm cool with, though. Diddy's the man. Diddy is the freaking man in this, though. He's like... He just got the tune, man. I love it. And Chunky. Oh, boy. You. The only game I think Lanky, Tiny, and Chunky ever showed up in again was... Uh, the Donkey Kong Barrel Blast Racing game for the Nintendo... Was it GameCube? I think it was Wii. I don't know. But... Oh, boy. Hey, Barrel Blast will come back at you. Oh yeah, of course, you gotta love this. They threw in that hell, and they accepted it. This is still a rated E game. Damn it. Or it might be the kids and adults rating. Still, this rap is freaking genius. I don't know if Grant Kirkhope was the one who came up with this, but yes. Yes to this. I'm one of the people that love this rap. It's just freaking awesome as shit. Like... Yeah, I want a rap song about one of the video game franchises, just describing them in detail and making them look badass, or in Chucky's case, yeah, badass, why not? So yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome, right? Yeah, I may as well go over the Game Over sequence one more time, just for the heck of it. So, this is officially the end of the Donkey Kong 64 Let's Play. Thank you guys for watching. And this is my sanity. It's getting ready to leave because it probably knows the game that I'm going to be playing next will probably not feel as good. Well, I'll still have to figure that out, whatever it's going to be. Hey! You know, for some... Oh, yeah! If you get the game over when the uh, mouth is open, the mouth will actually be open in this. So it's pretty cool. And if you show it here, the game over doesn't actually show up, which is kind of interesting. Still. And also, yeah, like I said, the laser never actually fires. It just does that. So, we'll just sit on here for a while. So, the only other thing left to show is just, well, if you decide to hang on the main menu over here, you'll get to see a lot of crazy antics from DK and the Kremlings and other things going wild. It's like his jiggly feet, the Kremlings chasing butterflies. Them checking out DK, the, the lighting changing, it's pretty cool. So I'll just sit on this for a while. Anyway, regards to my future projects, well, hey! Oh, what the? Don't say it yet! Check it out! Look at me! He has extra appendages! What, what the hell? How's he been doing that? He must be standing on his tail. Or his. Uh, I feel bad for DK. It's bad he didn't notice. Anyway. I'm surprised it's finished before Blast Corpse, I must say. Blast Corpse will be finishing up, um... The Sunday following the airing of this episode. Oh god, the beaver. Oh, Rampy! Come on, don't chase him down. Come on, dude, leave him alone! Whoa! Ha! Oh yeah, the mother beaver. Strange how the golden beaver only showed up in the Rampy Arena game. So yeah. The Blast Corpse will be the one to end after this. And uh, Banjo-Tooie, by the time I recorded this, 
I actually didn't know the status of Banjo Tooie because I got to record that a lot less by this point. Oh God, it's nighttime! It's like Creepy Castle over Ooh. again. I'm so frightened, my legs! I can't hold out any longer. But uh, I know I already have one of my future games in preparation. Whether that's in Banjo Tooie cycle or not, I have yet to find out from this air. But well. It's a game I've been wanting to do for a long time, so that one I'm happy for. And the Sideshow Saturday project, as you've seen, maybe, is uh the Smash Brothers Brawl challenges. What the why is he riding a barrel? And the beavers are following him with that. That's a tiny beaver and a tiny barrel. Man, they really come in great shapes and sizes. Let me think. Am I gonna do another game of the Donkey Kong franchise? Uh, it's tough to say. I mean, like I said, this is my favorite game of the Donkey Kong franchise. I have liked a lot of the others I've played, though. I played Country 1, which is pretty good. Country games are hard. I haven't played 2, which I've heard is the best. I definitely need to try that one. 3, I've heard is... Eh. I've seen Donkey Kong Country 3 in action, and it's... Well, it works. Oh, God! Wow. Way to raise your kids. You're gonna get in an accident. Where are your actual parents? I should probably find them for them. And there's also, um... Donkey Kong Country Returns. I liked it, but... It's a little obnoxiously hard at times. It's a fun game, though. That was on the Wii and the 3DS, but I only played the Wii version. The 3DS just has a few extra levels. Oh, great. Now the children are looking for their mommy. I'm not your mom! Get out of here! I'm not your dad! I'm not your dad! Jesus, get the hell away from me! Baby! Je Jesus! You didn't have to scare them. And then there's the Wii U title, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Which... I wanted Retro to work on another Metroid game, obviously, but... Tropical Freeze was a slight disappointment for me when I first heard about it. However, when I played it... That was better than Donkey Kong Country Returns. Tropical Freeze was really good. Not as hard, but the level design overall was better. Oh great, you're back to chasing the butterflies. How wonderful. Let me get a bug net. Let me call a goddamn master over here. Or baits. Heh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yearly reference. That's, uh, interesting. Anyway, I'm still trying to plan some of the other games out, but I'll figure them out as I go. I'm pretty sure, um, other titles and other franchises I've done will be coming. Don't know exactly when, but hey, it'll be coming next. Still trying to figure it out. Oh, great, it's raining. Thank goodness I have this barrel to shield me from the rain. Oh, man, there's only one more special animation that needs to come from this. I really want to see it. Anyway, previous franchises could be returning. In regards to those, Sonic is unlikely. Because I've done pretty much everything I've wanted to do with Sonic and, well... If I did another one of his games, I would probably get really annoyed by it. Yes! Got it! Hey! Don't bother me! I'm doing my job here! Fell off me! Hey! Look at all my armpit hair! What the fuck? Yeah, yank it out! No! Fuck off! It's my armpit hair! Fuck off! Jesus! I hide my bananas in there! God! Well, yeah. That's my plan. Just go with the flow like I usually do. Games of previous franchises are probably a big thing I'll be doing, but it's hard to say exactly what it will be. So, if you want to keep watching, stay tuned. But, till then, this is the MJ406, and I thank you all greatly for watching me and my Donkey Kong 64 Let's Play. It's been quite a journey, and this rare marathon has been quite exciting. I'm really glad I got to delve into this. I might delve into another rare project in the future. I don't know what, because I haven't played a lot of the others. But, there are some good ones, definitely. Like, I haven't played Jet Force Gemini or Perfect Dark. That's one I should probably do since I like Goldeneye, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But anyway, 
I'll see you guys next time for whatever the next project is gonna be. So, you know, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe or whatever. I won't force you, but you know the drill. This is YouTube. You got the idea. Oh my God! Why well, so many fans are here? Yeah! Hey! Hey! How's it going? I didn't know I had so many fans. They just want more. No! They took it away from me!